Hi, uh, this is a video from Adalo Experiments category. I have decided to make this experiment based on one question on the forum. Uh, the question sounded as uh, how to choose uh, randomly two items from the same collection and allow user to select one item and display another pair of items. So what I have here, I have a collection on months of months. Uh, so there are 12 months and uh, I'm allowing to choose between two and this ID uh, one and ID two, this ID of the month, uh, they are choose uh, they are chosen randomly. So it works in a way, for example, I don't really care what I choose. Uh, so uh, each time I press one of this button, uh, these two numbers are generated uh, again. And as you see, there were two 12 numbers, two 12 IDs uh, December. So the numbers are regenerated. So uh, they're always a, a pair of different months here. So, and I can continue choosing uh, pretty much indefinitely. So each time I choose, just the new numbers are generated. So uh, let me explain how it works from inside. So this is the experimental app. There are lots of collection here. So what I'm uh, using here is the collection of months. So from database perspective, I have a month name uh, and I have month ID. So uh, the ID uh, store uh, in the ID, I store the number of uh, month uh, from one to 12. Uh, in order to generate, uh, to store the generated random IDs, uh, what I'm doing here, I have added two properties to, uh, sorry, not here. Uh, I have added two properties to user collection. So uh, ID one and ID two. Uh, in these two numeric properties, uh, I'm storing the random ID, which is uh, chosen for one or another month. So uh, how it works from the start. In the very beginning, uh, on the button, uh, it's a very big app. So uh, in, the, in this button, uh, which is, leads to the screen, uh, I make the update user action, uh, where I'm updating the user and generating the first a pair of random numbers. So these random numbers from one to 12 and for ID two, ID two, the same random number. And I, I'm linking the, mm, you, uh, to the next screen, to the screen, to random selections, which I was showing you uh, uh, in the video. Uh, here is the screen of two random selections. So on this screen, uh, I have some technical information about user email and two IDs for, this was done for debugging. And I have two lists. This is a list of months, and this is a list of months as well. So the list of months is filtered by the ID one, where ID is equal to X31 ID one. And this list is filtered by ID two respectively. So we have two lists, with the uh, filtered by different IDs. And uh, as you can understand, uh, as a consequence, you will see just one month here. And by pressing button choose, I'm implementing the logic of regenerating ID. For this, uh, I use the uh, interim screen. As you can see, uh, you didn't see it on the video, uh, on the demo, because the screen is set up in the way that the action is uh, the uh, link action, transition action is set to none. Uh, and you see, I, I'm sending user to this screen. And with this button, uh, it's the same. So transition to none. Uh, this screen is set, set up in a way that first of all, it is uh, the background is transparent, so you don't really see that anything is changes. But uh, the uh, logic is implemented in the on screen action. Uh, Mm, actions, on-screen enter actions. So here I update the user uh, based on the, uh, as you can see, there are random number for ID one and ID two regenerated upon entering this screen. And then I'm linking back immediately to the previous screen. Uh, and uh, as you understand, uh, when I 
link back, uh, these two lists are automatically refreshed with the new IDs. Uh, to be on the safe side, I would recommend to put auto refresh to on both for both lists, so they are refreshed. And the final point is uh, how do I control well, uh, the same IDs? You've seen that uh, when two 12s were generated, they were regenerated automatically. For this, I have a conditional action on screen enter on these, this main screen enter. So uh, I have a link to this random selection interim screen where I regenerate the random IDs where, uh, and this action happens only sometimes. It happens only if the first ID is equal to the second ID. So uh, that's it. Uh, hopefully that you understood the logic. Uh, this was an interesting experiment. Well, of course, the usage is quite uh, narrow, but still I decided to make a video because this might be useful for some of you. Uh, thank you and hope to make more videos for you soon.